Hello Pisces and welcome to the sacred space. I'm Adriana and we're going to go on a journey together to uncover your spiritual message and focus for the week. From the universe, we are receiving the King of Swords. This represents wise counsel. So wise guidance, wise help from someone who can maybe see a different perspective than you. And to be open to different levels of perception in your own mind. Um, we just got a little abstract there for a second. But this is rational thought, but also the layers of thought above it. Thinking of higher guidance, higher wisdom. Being open to perspectives doesn't just mean earthly perspectives. It also means kind of the 5D or, or 4D world. The, the way of seeing things from a different place. I'm reminded of something I read about the osprey today. It talked about how the osprey helps us believe in the great creative lie, which is the reason why we're here. And the reason why we have to believe this lie is because it helps us love even more. So there's a little bit of funny stuff, like a little bit of maybe shifting in the mental focus, mental things, in a way that benefits you, in a way that you're able to see and believe things in a different light. Let's keep going. We're responding with the world. So I love the, the confluence of this energy. The only danger is that you're so happy with the way things are, you don't really feel like looking at another perspective. To me, the world is talking about, I've got the whole thing. I understand the whole thing. And while that's true on one level, this King of Swords is leading me to believe that there's another layer or another semblance of meaning that is waiting to be uncovered and waiting to be discovered. So although you're feeling great and whole and in a good place and a joyous place, that's wonderful. Use that as a jumping off point for exploring these different ways of looking at reality. Okay, we've got our lovely Ace of Cups and the King of Cups, so beginnings and culminations. Prince of Swords going off. Okay, so this King of Cups, looking at the Ace of Swords, he is supporting and loving this relationship with the self. And I think this King of Sword, King of Cups, is also representing the relationship itself. So backing up your relationship with yourself. Not sure what this guy is doing here. Let's get another card. Okay, 10 of cups. So we are talking about relationships here. And at the moment, the relationships with others are less important than this relationship with yourself. The king of cups is feeling like there's a different level of trust that your relationship with yourself your investment in your self-love has grown to a different degree and you're able to trust yourself more. So I think this is also why we're considering alternate modes of perspective. Because your trust in yourself is heightened, you're trusting your intuition more. You're trusting guidance that comes in from a different plane, meaning the positive plane of your guides and, and souls on the other side who have crossed to help us. There's a different level of trust now, and this information is able to come through and flow through in a different way. The only danger I can see is thinking you have the whole thing. Because when you think you have the whole thing, it's kind of like the door is closed and you don't want to receive anymore. And this is reminding you to stay open. Even though you've got a lot, you've got everything that you know you need and you, you feel whole in yourself, stay open and stay open to shifts. Stay open to seeing things differently. Stay open to reality being a mutable thing that shifts and changes rather than a fixed. Okay, now looking over here, because we've got the Knight of Swords running away from this whole spread. That Knight of Swords is also that unilateral thinking that thinks one thing and is looking out for that one thing. So I'm feeling like Pisces, this is a week that you almost need to kind of put your relationships on hold. You know, you still show up for them, but I feel your focus being somewhere else. I feel your focus being in another world and not being so tied to the concerns of others right now. 
And that's okay. I, I think you are meant to explore this new inner world. And eventually you will re-engage and you'll bring this knowledge to that, that sphere, that home's factor, uh, homes, uh, what do we call this? I want to say sphere, but there's another word. Anyway, the domain of the home or the domain of reality. But right now you're on this wonderful inward journey that opens you up to new places, new, new dimensions and new spaces. And that's all okay right now. It's okay to be there. You don't have to worry about engaging so much. Okay, one more card and then let's see what that card has to say. Bottom of the deck. Okay, Empress, so we'll flow. Okay, creativity. So what all of this shifting of perspective is going to do is also help you engage more creativity, <laughs> help you engage more creatively in the flow of life. And it's also going to help your own creativity. If you have been feeling stuck, these shifts of perspective and just looking at things differently is really going to open you up and it's going to open up different places that you didn't expect to open. So you're going to find yourself flowing more. You're going to find yourself inspired more. And you're going to find yourself just in the zone. That's why it's important to kind of let the, the social life be, let the other people be. This is about your own creative space this week. Okay, Pisces, thank you for sharing that with me and sharing that time with me. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I would encourage you to do so. I do readings every week to help you move forward on your spiritual journey. And if you are looking for something to help you move even faster, I would ask you to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. There are one-on-one -on -one readings and healings on there that can really help you move forward with much more momentum and purpose. It's possible to get there on your own, but it's much easier and sometimes much more fun with guidance. So look forward to seeing you next time. I appreciate you very much and have a great week.